Welcome to the next class on digital marketing. In this session, we will learn a brief about Google Ads. Let us start with the overview of Google Ads. So Google Ads is an advertising platform by Google. So Google Ads allows businesses to display ads on Google search results and partner websites. That simply means whenever you search for something on Google, the first few results will be as ad or it will be sponsored. Those kind of things can be done with the help of Google Ads. We will understand how to do it practically. Let us understand the theoretical part, then we will also do the practical part. Google Ads also provides multiple advertising options such as search ads, display ads and video ads as well. We will discuss more about the types of ads once we reach different types of Google Ads here. Now let us understand what is the benefits of using Google Ads. Wide audience reach with access to billions of users. When we give ad on Google, the entire world can view our ad or we can give the ad for the entire world to see that. Targeted advertising options based on demographics, interests, and behavior. We can target customers on their age, gender, location, what are their interests, as well as their behavior. Cost effective with control over budget and bidding strategies. That simply means you can decide what is the budget of your ad. You can set your own budget. Now let us understand how does Google Ads work. Advertisers create campaigns and ad groups. Whenever we give ads on Google, that will be called as campaigns as well as ad groups. Now let us understand this when we do it practically. The next thing is choose keyword and create ad copies. Now, if you remember, we have learned about Google Keyword Planner where we use certain set of keywords and then we will add it for our SEO part. Along with SEO, we can also use those high quality keywords in our ad as well. We can use the exact match, broad match, phrase match as well. We can also set bidding strategies and budget. We can set a bid for a keyword and we can also set our budget. Ads are displayed based on relevancy, quality score and bidding. So once we start giving an ad, Google ads will help us to realize what is the strength of our ad. Is it average? Is it incomplete or is it good? The next thing that we have is targeting options in Google ads. Let us understand this. We have different types of targeting, location targeting, demographic targeting, interest targeting, remarketing, custom intent audience. Let me explain each thing one by one. So location based targeting is nothing but we can target specific countries, regions, cities, or even radius around a particular location. For example, if I am staying at a place with the pin code 56219, I can give my ad on that particular pin code as well. I can give the ad for entire country or I can even give ad for a certain region or even a city. I can give the ad in Bangalore, Pune, Delhi, Mumbai, Ladakh, any city. The next thing that we have is demographic targeting. Target based on age, gender, household income, parental status, etc. We can target our audience or we can target the customers based on their gender, based on their household income, based on their age as well. Now we have interest based targeting. Target users based on their interests, hobbies or specific topics. So if I am a writer, so I can give an ad for people who are interested in reading books. Next thing that we have is remarketing. Target users who have interacted with your website or app before. Now, for example, if you have a website or an app, a user have visited your app or website once or twice. 
you can retarget them. Next thing which we have is custom intent audience. Target users based on their recent search behavior. That simply means if you have searched something on Amazon or Flipkart, you will see the same kind of product or the similar products everywhere on all the social media platforms which you go or even on Google Ads as well. That is called as custom intent audience. You might have seen this. When you search for a cell phone on Flipkart, you'll get these ads everywhere. That is called as custom intent audience. Now, the next thing that you have is different types of Google ads. We have search ads, display ads, video ads, as well as shopping ads. Now, let us start with search ads. Search ads are text-based ads displayed on Google search results page. You can bid on keywords related to your business. If you search for digital marketing agency in Bangalore, digital marketing is a keyword and the first few results will be Google search ads. That is the text-based ads. Next thing that we have is display ads. Display ads are nothing but banner, images or text ads displayed on websites, apps and videos. You can also target a specific placement or interest. When you visit a website, there will be a slight or little box on the right hand side of the search that will be called as a display ad. We will understand all these things better when we do it practically. It might be a bit confusing while learning the theoretical part. Be patient until or unless you learn it practically. Don't perform the active Google ads or don't give the ad. Don't lose your hard earned money. Understand this, then start with it. Next thing that we have is video ads. Now, ads displayed on YouTube and other video platforms. These options includes skippable, non-skippable and bumper ads. Now, when you play a video on YouTube, you might have seen number of ads which has skip ad or the ad will be played for more than 10 per second. You can't skip that ad. You can also give those kind of ads with the help of Google ads as well. Next thing that we have is shopping ads. Product based ads displayed on Google search results. It showcases product information, images and prices. If you run an e-commerce business, you can give the product ad as well. Now let us understand the best practices for Google ads. Continuous testing and optimization, regular monitoring and adjustments, stay relevant and up to date. Let us understand each thing one by one. You can try different ad variations, landing pages and targeting options. One, so for one single ad, you can try a different set of variations. You can try different landing pages and you can try various targeting options. Iterate and improve based on performance insights. That simply, that simply means if your ads runtime is more than a week, you will see the insights of the ad. How is it performing? Based on those insights, you can update the ad. You can change the locations. You can change the demographics. You can change keywords. That is what is called as improvement based on performance insights. Now, the next thing that we have is regular monitoring and adjustments. Now, now you have to stay updated on campaign performance and make the necessary adjustments. That means if your ad is running on a regular basis, and if you need to do some improvement or some adjustments in that ad, you can even do that. You can even optimize bids, budgets and targeting to maximize results. So if your ad budget is 500 rupees, you can increase the budget or else you can decrease the budget. Now we have stay relevant and up to date. That means keep up with industry trends and changes in Google ads policies. Now, Google Ads also have some policies that we have to follow. 
these policies will be changed or it will be getting updated on a regular basis stay updated on those things adapt strategies to align with evolving user behavior and technology now let us understand tracking and measuring success in google ads now we have conversion based tracking google analytics integration performance metrics let us start with conversion tracking you can set up conversion tracking to measure actions on your website track conversions like purchase form submissions or newsletter signups that means if a user visits your site if he or she makes a purchase you will be notified that one lead has been converted into a customer and if you run an e-commerce business you can see what is the number of purchase and if you have a contact form on your website you will also see how many people have signed up for your contact form the next thing is google analytics integration connect google ads with google analytics for more detailed insights analyze user behavior traffic sources and conversion path now when you connect your google analytics account with google ads account you get all these details if you don't know how to connect google adsense with google analytics click on the i button i have made a video on it click it link both of your accounts you'll get all these details the next one is performance metrics monitor and analyze metrics like click through rate conversion rate and cost per click you might have already known this what is click through rate conversion rate and cost per click for example if i have a budget of 1000 rupees for one click what is the percentage of amount google have charged if it is 0.68 rupees the cost per click is 0.68 make data driven optimization based on the performance data so based on the data which you get after the ad has been run for a while you can optimize those ads with the help of certain keywords or different types of targeting now we have optimization strategies for google ads we have keyword optimization ad copy optimization landing page optimization and bidding optimization let us start with keyword optimization research and select relevant keywords use match types effectively to control keyword targeting now you all know we have used google keyword planner to research for the keywords use those keywords in your ad as well apart from that we have learned about exact match phrase match as well as broad match we can use those keywords while giving ads as well now we have now we have ad copy optimization write compelling and relevant ad copies experiment with different variations this simply means if you are giving an ad on google make three or four different copies so that you can check each ad individually like how is it working you can check that out now we have landing page optimization create landing pages that align with your ad copy and offer clear value optimize for speed and mobile friendliness as you all know our website has to be responsive on both cell phone as well as laptop and desktop now if you don't know what is a landing page i'll be listing one of the landing page in the comment section you can check that out the last thing that we have is bidding optimization monitor and adjust bids based on performance utilize bidding strategies like target cpa or roas so based on the performance of our ad we can change our bid and we can use some bidding strategies like targeting cost per acquisition like to acquire one customer what is our cost as well as roas that is return on ad spent if i have spent somewhere around 7000 rupees for the ad and if i generate close to 9000 rupees so my return on ad spent is 
2000 rupees so this was the theoretical part of google ads in the upcoming videos we will learn it practically welcome to the next class of digital marketing in this session we will learn what is google ads you will understand what is google ads let us have an overview of google ads let us understand how to connect our analytics account and google ads account let's begin introduction google ads is an advertising platform that enables businesses to display ads product listings and videos on search engines mobile apps using the ppc model the ppc model is nothing but the pay per click model for each click google will charge some percentage of amount from your budget we will understand it even better when we do it practically let us understand the theoretical part and then we'll move on to the practical part let me show you a live example of how google ads actually work so now i am at the page of digital marketing course i have searched for digital marketing course now this is the location which i am at right now it is btm layout bangalore there i get these options intellipath digital cora and upgrad now these three results have something in common that is sponsored whenever you see sponsored on your search results that means this has been done with the help of google ads or adsense now once we scroll down we get the organic results see this it is udemy then we have coursera then learn digital these are the organic results which we get now these are the paid results sponsored or google ad results the first three are from google ads now whenever you search for something on the internet when you see these kind of sponsored then you must be aware that people have used google ads in order to do this so there is one more interesting business that have used google ads you can see this so google ads has used google ads for google ads now let us have an overview of google ads let me show you the dashboard of my account how it looks now this is my google ads account which i have created now in ads we call it as campaigns now one particular ad will be called as campaign number 1 or else the name of the campaign you can see this we have video campaigns and smart campaigns these are two different kinds of ads which i have given with help of google ads let us visit video campaigns now once i click on video campaigns i'll get the result of that video or the end result of the ad now with the ad which i have given on google this is the impression it is close to 2564 out of this the number of views which i have got is 707 so out of 2500 only 707 people have watched the entire video now this is the average cpc that means the cost per view that is called as cpc for one click google has charged 0.68 rupees from me now out of 100% this is the view rate 27.57 percentage of the people have watched video now when we scroll down we get the graph of it we can see on the fourth quarter of 2020 this is the result view rate is 46.67% average cpv is 0.40 views are 7 and impressions are 15 now when we scroll down we get something else that is about the ad what is the ad which we gave now this is a youtube skippable ad which you all know when you use youtube you get these kind of ads this is the skip ad which i have given now this was the budget we had around close to 480 rupees as our budget it is on the screen 
Now the ad has been enabled. This is the result. The impressions, as you know, it is 2,564 and this is the cost. Now, when we scroll down, we get demographics and the performance of the ad. We can see this. When we click on this, we get 206 views on Wednesday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Now, when you check this, it is seven views from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. This is the end result of the ad. Now, these are the demographics. When we see this, close to 169 people have watched our ad with the age group 25 to 34. The next thing is 118 views, age group 35 to 44. Out of those seven, not seven views which I got, these are the percentage or these are the people who have watched that video. Now, apart from all these things, we have something called as goals, tools, billings and admin section. We will understand all these things when we set up the Google ad account. Now, when we scroll down, we also get the audience retention and the devices the ad has been displayed. You can see the percentage of the ads or percentage of the devices which has been displayed. This represent mobile phones, the blue color. And these are tablets, computers, and TV screens. Maximum people have used mobile phones. And this is the cost, 469 rupees for this particular ad. And TV screens close to 5 rupees. So the budget which we gave was close to 480, as you all know. Google have divided these budgets into these devices. And here we get the audience retention. Now, how many percentage of people have watched the entire ad? We can see only 13% of the people have watched the complete ad. So this was the overview of Google Ads. Now we will understand it completely while we set up the Google ad account. Now let us connect our Google ad account with our Google Analytics account. This is very important so that we get all the details or the information in a very easy manner. Let us connect it. So I am at my Google Analytics account. One thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to use same Gmail ID for all the accounts which we create from Google. Now see this, I have used rprk at work at the rate gmail.com for Google Analytics. And for Google Ads, I have used the same thing. Make sure you use the same Gmail ID for both these accounts. Now, in order to connect Google Analytics with Google AdSense, we have something called as admin. Click on admin. Once you click on admin, you get all these settings. When you scroll down, you get product links where you have Google ads link. Click on this. So once you click this, we have a button called link. Click on link. Once you do this, you click on choose Google ads account. So once you choose this option, we get the Google Ads account, which we created with the same Gmail ID. If you use a different Gmail ID, it will be difficult to connect the accounts. Select this, click on confirm. So once you do that, click on next. Let it be as it is, click on next. Then click on submit. So once you click on submit, you get an option called link created. It may take up to 24 hours for your Google ads link to begin displaying data. Let it be as it is. Once you connect it, give it some time. So that was the brief about Google ads. In the upcoming video, we will learn how to set up Google ads account in detail. Thank you. We'll see you in the next class. So now I will show you 
two ads account which have been running you will understand it better what will be the end result after you post an ad so at the beginning of the video i said in the ads we call it as campaigns now here you can see this is the result of the video campaign we can select this and choose video campaigns we can select video campaigns for everything you can see this here we get an option as well as the video group now this particular ad account was only created to give video ads on youtube for a particular business now this is the result which you saw in the previous video so here we have a lot of things when we click on recommendation it will say our balance is exhausted because this is an old account now here you can see this your ad accounts isn't active your ads aren't running because your ad account has been cancelled stay until the end of the video i'll also show you how the ad account can be cancelled or deleted now in the recommendations part we get your account budget is exhausted and therefore your ads have stopped running if i want my ad to continue running i have to give more amount of money to google in order to pay google what we have is we have an option called billing you can click on billing from there we can add our money to google ads you can see this we have an option so in the billing section we can add amount so once you reach the billing section you can check for how to add the amount in this ad account you can go to payment methods there you will get some options you can see we have cards we have the upi ids you can use any of these things and you can pay google ads in order for ads to continue in the billing section in the payments method you can add your funds you can click on add funds then you can fill in the details your funds will be added in your ad account here you can see current ad balance is zero since we haven't added anything now once we are done with the payments it is in the billing section you can see all these things we can see billing activities we can see the transactions what have been done you can see this is how it will look these are the transactions so let us go back So now you understood where to add the amount in google ads that is in the billing section now after this as you understood in the theoretical part we also get the insights and report of our ad now let us check for the insights and reports you can see when and where the ads was displayed now if you have watched the previous video of the basics of google ads you you might have understood that we have given a video ad on youtube now here is a list of channels which our ad has been displayed now here are the list of the channels that our ad was displayed we have sgv digital canada full movies this is the name of the youtube channel where our ad was played we have public tv we have set india we have tv9 canada z canada anand audio media masters we have multiple channels so these are the youtube channels where our ads were displayed out of these channels we have 12 views from sgv digital 9 from public tv 7 from set india and so on as you all know this is the cpv 0.76 for one click and we have impressions out of 40 impressions we got only 12 views and this is the view rate the view rate is 30% and the overall cost is 9.13 rupees since the budget that our client has given was only 500 and you can see the conversions it is zero so these result or these conversion rates depends on the budgets you spent the keywords which you have added and the quality of your product the next thing which we have is landing page where will the person 
go after watching your ad? Will they be redirected to your website? Will they be redirected to your product section? Or will they be redirected to your contact page? You can see we have added a landing page. This is the Facebook page of the account. Your landing page might be different. It will differ for every other business. Now, after these things, we have something called as campaigns. As you all know, in Google Ads, everything which we give will be called as a campaign. You can click on this and see what are the different campaigns which we have. Now see, here I have selected only video campaign. If I click on all campaigns, all the ads which I have given with the help of this Gmail ID will be displayed. Let me select this. Now see, we have digital marketing and coding. This is the budget of 1064. We have given it. And we have also given the ad for Bizgurukul. It is 250 per day. These are the different campaigns which we have given ads for. So this is how your Google Ads account will look. Now let me show you another example of the ads that is a search ad. Let us see this. Now see this is a laundry business which we have given an ad. This is a different dashboard. You might have also got a different dashboard or the display which you see on the screen may be different. Don't worry about these things. Google keeps on changing. Now this is the result of the ad which we have given. From 23 May till 19th June 2023, this is the result of our ads. Two clicks, 53 impressions, 174 cost per click and overall 348 rupees. So these results vary on the budget which you have given on Google Ads. When you scroll down, we can see last payment which we did was around 2000 rupees. And this is the ad. We have given laundry services and the budget each day was 525. So this is our result. Now, when we click this, we will get the in detail information about the ad. You can see. Dry wash near me, one click. Laundry near me, one click. So these are the keywords which people have searched on the internet and our ad has been displayed. You see this? This is the location. BTM layout, Belandur and Haralur. Close to these location. Now let us go back to all campaigns. Now, here you can see from 23 May till 19 June 2023, this was the result. When we change the date, we get something else. As you all know, we have a budget of close to 2000 rupees. Here is the number of clicks. Out of 3571 impressions, we got 87 clicks. And this is our cost per click. 15 rupees for one click. And the overall cost for the ad is close to 1366 rupees. This is how you add result, the ad end result will look like. Now, if you want these details on your system, you have an option called download. You can even download this. You can download an Excel sheet or you can download an image. Depends on you, depends on your requirement. So now since we understood what is the result and what can be seen on Google Ads, let us now set up our new Google Ads account. Let us do that. So now let us create a new Google Ads account. I am at Google Ads page. You will get the URL of this in the description box as well as the pinned comments. You can create your own Google Ads account. So now let us create a new Google Ads account. I will be using this Gmail ID. I am rprk at the rate gmail.com. Since I have not used a Google account or Google ad account with this Gmail. So this will be completely new for me as well. Create on new Google ads account. Click on this in order to create a new account.
So once you reach this step, you have create your first campaign in a few simple steps. Click on create your first campaign. So this is a business name which I thought of using, but now it is changed. So let me change this as well. Now the website URL also has been changed. Let me change this as well. Now you can write your business name and your website's URL here. So now it is done. Business name is Digital Ditya. The website URL is digitalditya.com. Once you do this, click on next. So once you click on next, you have an option to link your YouTube channel and Google business profile. If you already have a Google business profile, you can connect. And if you have a YouTube channel with the same name as your business or maybe a different name, you can click on link and link your business profile and YouTube channel. Since I don't want any of those things, I'll leave it as it is. When you scroll down, you get link more accounts. If you have a mobile app, you can even link it. So click on add and see what are the options available. Now, if you have an Android app or iOS app, you can paste the link or the name of the app here in this section. Now it says if you have app for both Android and iOS versions, you will need to create separate campaigns for each version. So if I select Android and start giving an ad or create a campaign, in order to give ad for iOS, I need to create a new campaign. That is what it is. Now we don't have any app, so let it be as it is. Now you can add your phone number as well. Let people call right from your ads. If you want to add your contact number, you can even add it. Click on add, select a country which you want to choose and add your phone number. No, I'll not be adding this. Let it be as it is. Click on next. So once I click on next, this is the advertising goal. What does it mean? Get more calls, get more website sales or leads, get more visits to a physical location, get more views and engagement on your YouTube. This simply means what do you want from this ad? Do you want more calls from the customers? Do you want your customers to visit your website? Do you want your customers to visit you personally at your store? And you can also give this option. If you want your videos to have a much better reach, you can even go with Google Ads. Now I want to get more website sales or leads. Let me select this, then click on next. So here is an option to call, see this. If you have any doubts or if you need any help from Google, you can contact this number. It is 1-800-572-8304. Now, it is asking for me to connect my Google Analytics account with my Google Ads account. Since we know how to connect it, I'll skip this part. If you don't know how to connect Google Ads and Google Analytics, click on the I button and check the video. I'll be also listing the video in the description box as well as the pinned comments. You can have a look at it. Now let me skip it. Click on skip. So once I do that, based on the content which was there on my website, it has separated some content and it has given the headlines. Now we can change these headlines if we require anything. For now, let it be as it is. Based on your business, you can change accordingly. These are the headlines. Creative marketing agency, professional marketing agency, market your business with us. If you know what are the keywords which people will search on the internet, you can use those things. So for now, I'll not teach writing. This is class of Google Ads. Let us continue with ads. Now we also have description one and description two. 
Now this is how our ad will look. Marketing agency, digital Ditya. Now this is the description. This is how our ad will look on Google ad search or Google search results. Now here we have show a call button in your ad. If you want people to call, you can use this button. So if I write some random number, I'll use the same number. Let me use this. Okay, it is not letting me to copy. I'll add it. 74104 10123. Okay, now it's done. You can see this. There is an option called call business. If you want this option, you can keep it or else you can just do this. The call button is gone. After you write the description, click on next. So this is the important part where you use keywords. This is where you have to use the proper keywords. Now, we have some keywords, digital agency, digital content marketing agency, social media marketing agency. You can add keywords according to your business. Now, I'm in a digital marketing agency business, so I'll use these kind of keywords. You may be into different business. You can add different set of keywords. Now, if you want to add some more keywords, click on new keyword theme and add it. Now, let me write digital marketing course. Let us see if the option is available or not. Okay, it's there, digital marketing course. So whenever people search for digital marketing course as well, there is some possibility that my ad or my website will also be displayed. Now, once you're done with keywords, you can add these as well. Click on next. Now, in this section, you can decide what is the state, the country, or even a particular area. Now, this is selected as India. You can even advertise near a particular address. When you click this, you can enter an address here. I won't be specific with an address. I'll select some regions. In order to do that, click this. Now, I don't want to give ad all over India. Let me select some cities and some pin codes. We can do that. You can cancel this. Now, see an example. So, this is a pin code. See, this is a pin code. I can even type it. So, only in this area, my ads will be displayed. Now, if I want to add Bangalore, I can even do that. You can see Bangalore. You can add multiple locations and multiple pin codes, state, city, or even country. See this, I'll be using a different country. You can even give you ads on this particular country. So I have used Spain. You can see the results. So my ad will be displayed on this particular pin code, Bangalore, as well as the entire country, Spain. Now, once you do this targeting, click on next. Now, this is a place where you set a budget and we are almost at the end of first campaign. So now here is an estimate. 41 rupees daily average on a month. It is 1246. If you want to use this, you can use it or else you can enter your own budget. So when you enter your own budget, this is typical competitor budget. Based on the industry, the budget varies. You can see this. With limited amount of budget, this is a warning. With a budget lower than your competitor range, your ads may not get you noticeable results. That means it is asking us to keep a budget within this range. You can see. This is a typical competitor's budget. When you cross this, you may even cross your competitors. Some people will also keep 3000 on a daily basis. Depends on the business and it also depends on their ad budget.
Once you do these things, click on next. So this is a preview of our ad, how it looks. You can see this, it will be sponsored. Here we have campaign name as creative marketing agency. This is auto generated campaigns. This is auto generated campaign name. If you want to change it, you can change it or else let it be as it is. See this, this is one type of campaign or ad which you can give, click on next. So here it asks for payment information. Our country is India and the time zone of India is plus 530. Now here we can add our payment method. Debit or credit card, net banking, pay with bank transfer or we can even use Paytm wallet. You can see this, we can use any of these things. Now let me cancel this. So once you do all these things, click on I agree. If you want personalized guidance from Google Ads, click on yes or else click on no. Depends on you, depends on your interest. Once you pay Google Ads, it will take some time to review your ad and your ad will be displayed. Once you do this, you click on submit. Now, since we haven't paid anything, let us see what happens. See, until or unless we pay this, it won't go to the next step. So this is one of the ways which you can give ads with the Google Ads account. Now, once we have given an ad, there will be a different procedure in order to create a new campaign. We will also learn it. So the ad which we gave now was search ad campaign. We will run different kind of campaigns now. Once you are done with the first ad, you'll get a dashboard like this. Once you reach here, in order to add a new campaign or in order to give a new ad, click on create. Create, then click on campaign. So this is how it will look. What is your campaign objective? Is it sales? Is it leads? Is it website traffic? Product and brand consideration? Awareness and consideration, app promotion, local store visits and promotion. Create a campaign without a goals guidance. Now let me explain each thing one by one. The first thing which you have is sales. Drive sales online, in app, by phone or in store. This simply means if you want your products to be purchased from a customer, you can use this kind of ad campaign. Or if you want only the leads, get leads and other conversions by encouraging customers to take action. If your website have a contact form or a place where people can sign up so that you get the details of the customers, you can use leads. The next thing which we have is website traffic. Get the right people to visit your website. This simply means you are giving ad for your website in order to increase the traffic of that particular website. The next thing which you have is product and brand consideration. Encourage people to explore your product or service. Here is a note, use awareness and consideration. So this option might be removed from Google Ads. I still don't know the reason. So now it is asking me to use awareness and consideration. Reach a broad audience and build interest in your product or brand. By selecting this option, you will be considering ad for brand awareness. The next thing which you have is app promotion. Get more installs, engagement and pre-registrations for your app. So if you have an app, both Android and iOS app on Play Store and Apple Store, you can use this option. This will help us to reach more number of audience for app installs. The next thing which you have is local store visits and promotion. If you have a particular location and if you want people to visit your store and make a purchase, you can select this option. Now, this is a very interesting option. Create a campaign without a goals guidance. So when we select this, we get multiple options. Choose a campaign type first without a recommendation based on your objective. 
when we click this, we get a lot of different options. We can choose any of those. Select this and see we have multiple options. We have search ad, we have performance max, we have display, shopping, video, app promotion, smart ads and demand generation. So let me explain all these things. Let us understand all these things and let us come back to the same page. Now I will show you images of all these things so that you understand better. So this is an example of search ad. When we select or when we search for social media marketing, we get these kind of search ad. Now the next one which we have was performance max. That means on all these platforms or all these tools which are provided by Google, we can display our ads. We can display our ads on Google Shopping, on YouTube, on display of an app or a website, Google search. We have Google Discover, Gmail as well as Google Maps. So this is the performance max ads. When we select performance max, we can display our ads everywhere. Now the next one which we have is display ads. So this is what is called as a display ad. You might have seen this in many websites. This is a display ad. Now the next thing which we have is shopping ads. Whenever you search for some product, you get these kind of things. You will get sponsored. These are called Google shopping ads. The next thing which we have is the video ads. Whenever you play a video on YouTube, you get these kind of ads. That is a video ad. Now this is the app advertising to install more app. This is an example. The next one which we have was smart ad. This is an example of a smart ad. Now the last thing which we have here is demand gen. Run ads on YouTube, Gmail, discover and more. Now let me explain what is demand generation. So demand generation is nothing but when a particular person or a business is giving a tool for free or is giving a video for free to watch that video you have to enter your contact number as well as your gmail id so that they get your contact information at the end of the video they'll inform or they'll tell this is the free version of the course if you want to learn the entire thing, pay for the full course. That will be their strategy and that is how their content will be on the free versions. Once they do all these things, you will be called as potential leads as they have your contact number as well as the Gmail address. They'll start pushing the product or service. Now you can think about the sales funnel that we have learned. That is how the flow goes. Now, out of these things, you can select anything based on your business. Now, let me select Performance Max because it has a lot of option, a lot of places where we can display our ads. Click on Performance Max, then click on Continue. See this? This is our campaign name. Let us keep it as it is. It is performance max one. Continue. Now here it will ask for what do you want to focus on? We have conversions and we have conversion value. Conversion value is the value that you associate with actions taken on your web page, app or store. Now whatever actions that people take on the page will be conversion value. I don't want the value, I want more conversions. So I'll select this. Conversions are actions on your website, app or store that you define. If I have an e-commerce website, if I click on conversions and if the user makes a purchase, I'll get to know that one lead has been converted as my customer. So let me keep it as conversions. Click on next. So the upcoming process is somewhat similar to what we have done few minutes back. Now here we have campaign settings. It has selected all countries and territories 
can select India or else we can choose a location. Let it be India since we are just learning. Now, here you also get this option. Select the language your customers speak. I have selected English. English was already there. Let us select some more languages, some more Indian languages if it is there. Now English is there. Let us select uh, Hindi. We'll select this. Then we can select Kannada since we are in Karnataka. So Tibetan language is still not added. I hope they'll add it soon. Okay, these are fine. Once we do this, we can select next. Now here is the asset group name. Show high quality ads to the right people. Start by adding your assets, the building blocks of every ad. Google will test different combinations to create high performing ads across the formats and networks that work best for your goals and the audience you want to reach. So if our ad is good, that means we need to optimize all these things. Here we can see the strength of the ad, it is incomplete. Once it is strong or good, this asset group will help the ad to reach the right audience. No unnecessary people will get our ads. Now, here we have to finish all these things. We have to complete all these things. So let us complete it one by one. Okay, now, now the ad strength is incomplete. Let us check what is the ad strength after we enter all these details. Let us add one by one. Let us add the URL first. So this is the URL I have added. Then we have calls. Now we can add a number. Let me add some random number. Now let us use, uh, okay, let us use, okay, I'm getting a bit confused. Okay, we'll use this random number. So this is the number which I want to add. 9848032919. Okay, so I have added this number. Let us not give some space here. Okay, it is done. Now see, this is how our ad will be looking. Click on save and click on apply. So here we have added the URL and the contact number. Now, the next thing which we have is images. I have a few images which I can add. So let me just add it. Let me upload it. This looks fine. Click on save. Say I have added one image. You can add up to 20 images. Now logos, up to five logos. I have one, so let me add one. This is the old one. Let us add a new one. So once it is uploaded, click on save. Now, here is an option to add videos. Add up to five videos. If you don't have one, Google will create videos automatically when possible. Now, if you have a video, you can add it. Click on plus. See this, this was the old video. So let me add a video from my YouTube channel. Let us do that. So let me use this. Click on save. So once you click on save, we have these things. We have a headline. Now the image which I have added is about the digital marketing course. I'll show you the image. 
So this was the image which I have added on Google Ads. You can see this. I have advanced digital marketing course. It is a 45 day course, only 15 students in the batch and this is the fees. Now I have added this particular image on Google Ads. Now let us continue. Now we have the headlines. Now the first headline which I can give is become an expert in digital marketing. So let me give become an expert. Okay, it is done. Now the second headline is in digital marketing. We will use it. Now we are done with the second headline. Now the third headline will be in 45 days. That will be a great headline. In 45 days. Now see this, I have added, become an, become an expert in digital marketing in 45 days. Or else, let us change this headline. It's not looking so good. Let us change. Let us keep it. Become an expert digital marketer in 45 days. So this looks good. Here you can see the preview. Digital marketer become an expert in 45 days. So based on your requirement, you can write the headlines. Now I'm done with the headlines. Let us scroll down. We have long tailed headlines or long headlines add up to five long headlines we can add let us add something from here we can use this as well no issues then we have we can also type like this become a specialist in digital marketing And it is done. So once the long headlines are done, you can scroll down, you get description. When you click this, you get a lot of descriptions. You can add anything which you like. Depends on the business, you can add it. I'll choose this. In the second description, we can add this one. You can change the description according to your needs. While you are writing the description, check for keywords and add the description. Now here we have the business name. Let us add our business name. So it is done. Now we have something called as site links. I'll show you an image of how a site link looks so that you will understand it better. Now look at this. These are called as site links. When you give Google ads, you can add all these things as well. That will be called as site links. You can add the products page. If you have an e-commerce business, you can add a service page, contact page, blog page, any page that you like as a site link. So if you also want to add a site link, you can use this option. Click on plus. Once you click on plus, you get these kind of options. So here we have spoken English about us, our services and contact us. So let me select uh, two of these things. Contact us is done. Then let us select digital marketing. So it's done. Once you are done, click on save. Now we have created site links as well. In order to add more number of site links, click on edit. Then 
here you have number of pages you have multiple pages you can add any of those so let me add one more let me add our services then click on save so here you can see contact us digital marketing and our services has been added as a site link when we scroll down we get call to action it is automated let us change it here you get a lot of options which you can choose learn more get quote apply now sign up contact us subscribe download book now or shop now so if you are providing a service you can click on contact us or else book now and if you are an online course business and you want people to fill up a form you can use sign up or apply now it depends on your business you can use anything so let me use contact us okay i have changed my mind let me use get quote so whatever service which i provide uh, people will click on get quote so that will be my call to action once you do all these things we have the keyword research phase or search themes so now i am into the digital marketing industry so let me search for digital marketing here so this is done give space comma and add something more as well let us try what it is this is a new version or this is a new update since it is beta it is new so let it be as it is so the next thing which we have when we scroll down is audience signal reach the right customers faster across google with an audience signal if you want to add some audience which you already have you can add it since we don't have any audience this is a new campaign or this is a new goal let us leave it as it is we can scroll down and click on next once we click on next if there is any error in these things we will get to know so there were there were a slight error here you can see this asset group we have a warning add strength is still incomplete see this we have add at least one landscape image let us add it in the image section edit it then upload a landscape image so i have this let us use it so now it has been done let us select all these three ratios three different things and then click on save now look at this the ad strength is excellent we have added all these things in a proper manner so that we can expect high result or high conversions so once this is done click on next now we have reached the budgeting section this is 3100 we can use this if we want this is 1100 it recommends a budget 510 this is also a budget you can see this your budget is lower than other advertisers budget which may affect performance try raising it to at least 1100 per day so the budgeting depends on the client or the business which you are in if you want to set a custom budget you can even select this now let me add a number let us see how it works okay so with this budget 
the cost of our ad will be close to 860. The remaining amount will be considered as tax for Google. We can click on next. So since we have not added the audience signal, it is looking like this. Let us fix it. Let us add at least a set of audience if we have. I'll click on new audience then. So enter audience name. Let it be A1. Audience name is done. Then people who have interacted previously with your business. Nobody is there actually. So let us use this. Okay, so it is taking to our website. Okay, fine. We'll select these things. No issues. So these website visitors are our audience segment. Click on save. Then again, click on next. So we have reached the budgeting section. Click on next. Now, this is the last step. We click on publish campaign. So once you click on publish campaign, this dashboard will be opened. Go to billing section and add the amount which you have given. So the budget is 1111. Depends on you and the business, what is the amount which you can spend. Now, since this is an old account, we get an option like this. Now see this, the account has been also suspended, also has been canceled. Now, in order to cancel an account, I'll show you how to do that since I have told you in this video. So to cancel an account, go to admin. Now see this, this is account canceled. We have account status. So this account is canceled. Ads in the account are not running. So if I want this account to be reactivated, I can click on reactivate my account. So in order to cancel the account, click on admin, click on account status, then click on cancel. That's it. So this was all about Google ads. Uh, don't think if you have watched the complete video, you have understood the entire Google ads. Learn it, practice it, then only you will understand even more better. So this is just for your understanding. I have explained everything in basics. Try it, practice it. You will understand it better. Thank you. We'll see you in the next session.